like phone talking to. Oh, can we get the Wi Fi? Yeah. Make a network? Yes. Oh, I thought this part was. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, no. There's a whole group of people just floating around. Float. What? They're a float chain. <laughs> they have duckies. And they're they, duckies. They, they're floating at the like slowest pace. What were you going to say? They've been coaching for like half an hour. There's this section on in here about Saunders, who was a who took like um, portrait photography. Mm -hmm. um, Unselfconsciously, Sonder adjusted his style to the social rank of the person he was photographing. Professionals and the rich tend to be photographed indoors without prompts. They speak for themselves, while laborers and derelicts are usually photographed in a setting, often outdoors, which locates them and speaks for them. As if they could... Er, as if they could not be assumed to have kind of separate identities normally achieved in the middle and upper classes. But I was thinking of that as interesting in relationship to the like back of the head photo or video. Like take out you're basically like you're ba the doing the second one of those, which you're taking like the setting and letting it speak for myself, and then I don't even have my own identity because I'm like away from the camera. <laughs> It'd be cool to do one of those like walking around because it's sort of like everybody does POV videos, but no one does third person POV. I think with the next generation of cameras, once the gyroscope gets a little better, that it'll be like walking do and doing it's fine. But I tried doing it in, in like a stairwell and it's so jerky. Okay. You need like a steady cam. Yeah. I guess I could build some sort of rig that keeps it really stable. You know what would be really cool? I would love to like see the world as like a video game avatar. Like we already talked about that. Yeah. That would be that'd be fun just to like film it. Yeah. From above, and you're just walking around San Francisco. It'd be beautiful. So many ducks. It would be another oh all my you Are know. Are those all lady ducks? You know all my ideas for like um, <clears throat> quirky network games. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It'd be cool to have one, um, like we have my tunnel robot idea. It'd be cool also to have one where someone plays an avatar, so they have a, a camera mounted behind their head like that, and it's streaming, mm -hmm. and someone has a controller and you can control them, but it, it does it by like telling them what to do. Mm. Like maybe it has, you have little uh, vibration pads, so it tells them like which direction to walk. <laughs> That could get really sadistically with them. Oh, yeah. And then yes. you can't really see their face, so they have like, you can have like a visor that, that gives them little text commands. Yeah. Like, talk to the person in front of you. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I was telling Emily that there, there, there is an artist who did that for yourself. Oh, wow. Like, you wear the visor and there's a camera. Oh, right. That's funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you are seeing your world through. You're so walking Christoph, where did you go? Did you? Is it Christoph Bodichko? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. remember the name. Someone else. Yeah, it, was, it seemed really provocative. I oh no, that's a Chinese guy, right? I, I, I don't remember at all. Like, I remember seeing that. Like. Okay. This was an artist, or actually, I think this was a study. <clears throat> they conducted these studies where they had people, um, they had them wear uh, special uh, glasses with vi or like a visor with lenses that turned everything upside down. Hmm. And um, at first, it was very disorienting. Yeah. And they had a hard time, but like 24 7, they had to wear these. Okay. They, couldn't, they weren't allowed to take them off. But after like a week or so, their mind like remapped everything and they were fine. And then they had the same disorientation when they, they took them off. off. And then had their mind was like, all right, we have to relearn the old way. That's interesting. I guess in the end, it's, it's really just about mapping the visual yeah. to the physical sensation. And 